Facing your Waterloo. Understanding the phrase. Hello everyone. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind a fascinating phrase in the English language. Met his Waterloo. This phrase is packed with history and symbolism, and understanding it can add a rich layer of meaning to your English comprehension. So, let's dive in and explore what it means to meet your Waterloo. The phrase, met his Waterloo, has its roots deep in European history. It refers to the Battle of Waterloo, which took place on June 18, 1815. This battle was a significant turning point as Napoleon Bonaparte, a famous French military leader and emperor, faced a crushing defeat at the hands of the Duke of Wellington and his allied forces. This defeat marked the end of Napoleon's rule and his military dominance in Europe. In modern language, when someone says they met their Waterloo, it doesn't involve battlefields or soldiers. Instead, it's used metaphorically to indicate a major defeat or failure, especially after a period of success or dominance. It implies encountering an insurmountable challenge or obstacle that leads to one's downfall or a significant setback. For example, if a once successful business faces bankruptcy due to a new competitor in the market, one might say the business met its Waterloo. To help you understand how to use this phrase, let's look at a few examples. 1. Despite his skills and experience, the seasoned politician met his Waterloo in the latest election, losing to a newcomer. 2. The undefeated boxing champion finally met his Waterloo when he was knocked out in the first round by an underdog. These examples show how the phrase can be used in various contexts, emphasizing a surprising or notable defeat. Now you know that to meet your Waterloo means to encounter a decisive or significant defeat. This phrase, rich in historical significance, adds a dramatic flair to language, encapsulating the idea of a major downfall or setback. We hope this video has been informative and engaging. Keep exploring the fascinating world of English phrases and idioms, and you'll continue to enrich your language skills. Until next time, Happy learning!